Hey there, Alex here from SPP, and in this video today I'll be showing you what it's like to run an SEO agency using SPP for your needs. So you have all of your packages set up on your website, but sometimes your clients require custom quotes. I'm going to show you how to set all of that up in SPP, but first let me show you the end result. Here's our pricing page where as you can see, there's three different price levels. You have starter, intermediate, and pro plans. A page similar to this one would be somewhere on your website, and clicking on any one of these buttons would take you straight into an order form, which would allow your client to complete their checkout. Here we've added the option so that your clients can also subscribe quarterly. Clicking on this checkbox will swap the plans that are available into the quarterly version of these plans. We also have some optional add-ons that your clients can choose from. Subscribing to Rank Tracking will add an extra subscription that would allow them to track a certain number of keywords using price variance. Another add-on that we have is the Keyword Audit, which is a one-time payment allowing you to audit their keywords. I'm going to go ahead and complete the form now to show an example of how the flow would go for your clients. Clicking on Complete Purchase would take your client into a thank you screen that is an intermediate screen, which would then take them to the receipt afterwards. Here's an example of what the receipt looks like. It basically has your logo, as well as all the necessary information for your clients. Your clients are then able to click continue to portal where they can get their work started straight into an intake form. Here, it's going to ask me to include some information about my project, which I'm going to go ahead and fill out. Once I'm done filling out all of the information and it's submitted, you can see that this is the project page with all of the necessary details. Here, I can send messages and also get updates that would go straight into my email. And also, just so your clients don't have to log in again to respond to a message, they're able to simply answer through their email and it would get posted straight into here. Going back into orders, these are all the active orders I have currently. Going to subscriptions allows me to see all of my active subscriptions, and I'm also able to download any of my invoices straight from over here. I can also manage my payment methods straight from within the client portal by navigating here. We support Stripe, PayPal, and Stripe ACH. Finally, if I wanted to, I could buy more services from the services tab without having to re-enter any of my details. Now let me sign out of the client side and show you how all of this is accomplished from the admin's view. What I've done over here is actually set up two different folders, one for recurring SEO services and the others for one-time SEO services, which helps me organize my admin's backend. If we quickly navigate into the starter plan, you're able to see that there's a simple description, it's set to bill monthly, and it's also set to reopen the order every month. This simply means that every month we complete the work for the client, set the order to closed, and then whenever the payment is received, the order is set again into working. We also have a simple intake form set up for the service which allows us to collect information that we need. Jumping into the rank tracking service, you can see that this is set up a little bit differently. Since pricing is actually going to vary depending on the number of tracked words, we've gone ahead and set up price variance for the service. And this is what this price variance setup looks like. The service does not need an intake form as we have all of the information already from the main service. Still, you're able to add a few more fields in here in case you'd like to collect any more information. One more thing to note is that since this is an add-on service, I've selected what services this can be added to. This way, it'll all be a part of the same project and will not create a separate project for rank tracking. The third service we have is a one-time audit. This is a pretty simple setup. We have a fixed price for it and we've assigned it to a team member who is responsible for doing the audit. We can also set up a custom intake form for the specific service if necessary. Also note that this audit would show up as a separate project as we're going to be doing it only one time and not recurringly along with the other service. If we go back into the services folder where I have all of the recurring services, you can see that I've duplicated these services and updated the prices for three months billing factoring the 20% discount. Now that we're done with the summary of all of the services set up, I'm going to go ahead and show you what an order form looks like on SPP. This is the order form that we went through earlier when I was showing you the example of buying a service. Here we have the service selection fields. There are two different fields for the plans and one extra field for the add-ons. If this checkbox for quarterly billing is checked, then we will display this service selection field that has the quarterly plans. Otherwise, it would display the monthly plans by default. In this form, we also have a few general fields like name, email, and billing address. However, the only required field in your form is an email field. The rest are completely optional. That's pretty much it for productized services. Now, let me show you how you can handle custom requests. In the setup module over here, I've set up a quote request form. It's quite similar to an order form, except we don't handle any payments in here. It can also be embedded into your website by using one of these embedding options. Now, let me show you what it looks like when a client fills out one of these forms and it creates a ticket within your system. Here in the ticket, you're able to reply to your client directly. Now, once you've come to an agreement with your client, you can go ahead and create an invoice for them manually. 
we can do this by navigating to their profile and then clicking on new invoice. Let's say that the client wanted the pro package, but with a few more bells and whistles. I'm going to go ahead and select the pro package from here because we've already created the intake form for it and it's set up exactly how we want it to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the price according to the price that I've agreed on with the client. I also have the option to notify the client directly by selecting the checkbox. However, this time I'm going to just create the invoice and send them a share link, which I can do by navigating to share and clicking copy on the direct payment link. Now that I have the direct payment link copied, I can go back into the ticket and send them the link to it directly. Easy as that. That wraps up selling SEO packages as well as custom SEO services on the SPP platform. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to customer support and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and have an awesome day.